Pumpkin butter is easy to make at home. My version for today's recipe is lightly spiced and naturally sweetened with dates. No added sugar. I'm using a fresh sugar pumpkin variety. You may use other varieties, but the sugar pumpkin or pie pumpkin has a smoother texture that makes it particularly great for butters, pies and other baked goodies. If you're starting off with a whole pumpkin, cut it in half first. Using the tip of a thin flexible knife, insert it through the skin and move it across all around. You may also use canned pumpkin puree instead of fresh pumpkin in this recipe if you wish. Make sure to use plain pumpkin puree and not pie filling. Just substitute the fresh pumpkin and proceed as per the recipe. Once cut, remove the seeds with a spoon or ice cream scoop. Save the seeds, they can be roasted and eaten as a snack. Cut a few slices off one half of the pumpkin. Then remove the fibrous centers. Peel each slice. I find it relatively easy to place the slice on the board so the skin side is perpendicular to it. Then run the knife under the skin starting from the top towards the board. Rotate the pumpkin slice as you follow the curve with the knife. Cut the pumpkin into small pieces. Then measure out about 2 cups or about 360 grams. Pick and chop the dates into small pieces. The dates that I'm using are the Perny variety. Medjool dates are also good. You may need less if you're using medjool dates as they are larger and sweeter. Place the tamarind paste in a little warm water to soak. Once soften, mash it between your fingers to remove the seeds. We have another video on the channel where we have showed how to do this. Check the link in the description if you want to watch it. Peel the pear, cut it into quarters and remove the seeds. Then cut into small pieces. Add the pumpkin, pear and dates to a saucepan. Then add in the diluted and de-seeded tamarind paste. The distinctive sweet sourness of tamarind adds an interesting complexity to the soothing spicy flavors of this butter. If you don't have tamarind, however, you may substitute it with lemon juice or apple cider vinegar. Next, add in all the spices, the cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger powder, allspice, and a pinch of salt. I find that sweet treats tend to accentuate any added spice, so I'm keeping this butter rather subtle on the spices, but you may adjust them to your taste. Add about 1 cup of water, stir and mix everything well together. Cover and simmer on a low-medium heat for about 20 minutes. Occasionally check on it and stir or add a little water as required so that the mixture does not stick to the pan. Once the pumpkins are soft, blend the mixture using a hand blender directly into the pan. You may alternatively transfer everything to a blender and process until smooth. Then return the puree into the pan and continue cooking for another 5 to 10 minutes. The reason why I choose to blend this mixture after it has cooked rather than before is because it will tend to splatter a lot if blended before cooking. 
It is up to you how much you want to reduce the mixture. The more time you allow it on the stove, the more the flavors will deepen. It will also become darker in color and thicker in consistency. Turn off the heat and allow to cool. Transfer to a jar or container and store in the fridge for 2-3 to three weeks. On a side note, I made the cute crochet pumpkin that you've seen attached on a ribbon to the jar. This makes a nice jar decoration if you want to give this butter away as a gift to someone. We are going to be doing a giveaway for these crochet pumpkins jar decorations soon. I might be making them into mug cozies too. I will be announcing the giveaway on Instagram where it will be hosted sometime next week. There will be more than one winner, so make sure to follow us there to find out about the rules and how to enter. This is just a thank you gift from us to you. This butter is great smeared on toast, crackers, pancakes, added to porridge or incorporated in other sweet treats. Or you can give it away as a gift in a nicely decorated jar. We have some upcoming recipes where we've made use of this butter, so stay tuned for these pumpkin butter roll cookies. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Leave us your comments as we love reading them. If you give this recipe a try, don't forget to send us a snapshot and tag us on social media. As usual, the full printable recipe can be found on our website. Check the description for the link. And subscribe to our channel if you're not already for more recipes. You can also subscribe to our mailing list and receive email updates. This way you'll never miss a recipe. Don't forget to find us on Instagram for the giveaway. We have more pumpkin and squash recipes on the channel. So keep watching by clicking on the thumbnails. See you soon!